strawberries are in season they are flowering and they are producing and they are ripening as well uh, look at that one i need to find a way to protect them i need to find a way to i don't know uh, stop them being eaten by the ants or whatever it is that's eating them but yes they are in season they producing in season they producing as you can see i need to pull the weed out as well look at that look at that strawberries are in season look at that that's a big one there look at that they are producing they are in season oh man i do not know what is it that eats them you see <sighs> ah, problem 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 with every um milestone there is a challenge with every good uh, result there comes a challenge there comes a challenge you know i guess this is the this is the price we pay for not using um what you call chemicals pesticides you know this is the price we pay for not using pesticides because as you can see uh, those ripened strawberries they are eating underneath so i need to come up with an idea of how i can protect my strawberry strawberries that are growing on the floor you know I need to come up with a plan on how to protect these guys that are growing on the floor here. You know, yeah. Yeah, basically, what I do, I just water. Oh, here's another ripened one. Is it also eaten? No, it's still good. Not eaten yet. Not eaten yet. So I can eat that one. I can eat the other two. But I need to find a way to protect them so that they can be a vi viable uh, contenders uh, for me and my kids to eat. Because if they like that, I cannot eat them. Anyways, I basically just water them every second day. And then I feed them my uh, banana peel um, fertilizer that I make here at home myself. I think there is a video that I made of how I made the banana peel fertilizer. It's a concentrate, actually. I make it on a four-liter um, bottle, and then I mix it with the rainwater, and then I water with it. As you can see... How beautiful the strawberries are yes it's just simple as that it is just as simple as that but now my main concern is how to protect them from whatever it is that's eating them that comes underneath there and eats them underneath you look at them on top man you look at this one look how beautiful this one is and then to think that underneath it has a huge hole you know that you don't even know where it comes from it's a bit of a, a containing um thing well yeah otherwise guys these strawberries in season as you can see yeah so soon if i come up with a plan on how to protect them who will be enjoying a whole lot of strawberries here with my kids right yeah so yes that's me in my strawberry garden that's me in my strawberry garden 
this is the strawberry garden and like i said how i maintain it is i water it every second day I, I i've come to realize i don't know whether it's because of where they are the 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 here in actual fact i'll show you something there's not much of soil it, it tends to be like sandy like dusty but you can see what i'm talking about it's 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 like this you know and you can't water this thing if you water this thing water just runs off so that's why i i i, I mulch with a lot of grass I put a lot of grass to try and turn that desert is sort of a sand soil into some sort of a sand that uh, that can um, hold the plants you see look at this look at how it looks like look at this yeah so because of this i have to water them regularly because I, I i i came to notice that if i don't water them regularly um pens is that they dry out and then they they die you know so every second day i have to water them and then every fourth day i have to water them with uh water that uh, I that is mixed with my uh, banana peel liquid fertilizer that I, 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 I make I'll link up a video on how I make that but guys this is possible you can also do it I mean you can do it on the floor like this if you do have space like me if you don't have space you can do it uh, hanging like I've done it on the other side of the house but there's no reason why you can't grow your own strawberries and have your own strawberries and enjoy them fresh and chemically free you know like how you see some of mine are eaten by the parks because i don't use uh what uh, not fertilize i don't use um uh pesticides yes i don't use pesticides i don't use chemicals you know so yeah i try and coexist with the parks and the nature and all that and just try to man, manage the parks in a in a an organic manner that doesn't harm me the plants and the soil you know yeah but otherwise it's possible so get out there do it if you need help especially you live around Teppen I'm raising my hand give me drop me a comment there say help I'll link up with you, talk, come and assist you, start your small garden there. Have your spinach, have your cabbage, have your onions, have your carrots, have your strawberries. There are things that really, really we shouldn't be going to the supermarket to buy because we can have them. Even if you live in an apartment, you can still have them uh, in your balcony or whatever. And then just, you know, go pull it out there and eat it fresh and clean and without um, having to eat something that you don't know how it was uh, grown and what it was fed you know otherwise sandy the here cow lives on top of the hill and gardens on top of the hill i am out i love my strawberries i'm going to eat that one that wasn't um eaten by the bugs so that one i'm eating it this one i'm eating this guy here not completely quite ripe but uh, i will not wait until the bugs get to it so mm. sweet ah delicious i love it right guys please uh please i played with you uh our subscriber base has increased it's increasing nice and slowly and we are grateful or i am grateful to those who hit that subscribe button and i'm pleading with the rest of everyone who watches my video follows my channel please hit the subscribe button have nothing to lose uh, but something to gain because you get notified if i upload a video uh, click on the bell button like button share it comment that helps me a lot with youtube algorithms and whatever and youtube can share the video with the like-minded people and then we can grow the community 
and we can all share these ideas together. Love you guys and I'm out.